Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to use the switch operator in ABAP. The switch operator can be used to replace the case statement. It therefore offers the same logic with fewer lines of code. So in my example today I declare two variables, first the indicator and second the day. Today I want to call a function called date compute day and the return value is a number and I pass here the su datum, the current date. And if we if we use the case statement here, we would write case LV indicator and then when one, then LV day is Monday. When two LV day is a Tuesday and so on with three Wednesday and then I paste the other days here in my example so and if the indicator is greater than seven then we get an error and le now let's write the day and the variable here then pretty print and check the program so the current day is Wednesday so this was the case statement now let's try it with the switch statement. We can write here LV day is switch hashtag. Then we check one time the indicator. And then we can write when one, then Monday. So if we use case here, we have to assign the variable again and again in every branch. This is not the case with switch. So we can write here when one Monday to Tuesday, three Wednesday and so on. And now we can check this code. Much more readable in my opinion. We see Wednesday. So uh, in a former video of mine, I showed you how to use the condition operator. And this was this statement. So I wanted to know which language my system has. And now I show you how to check the C language with the switch parameter. First of all, we have to check only one time the uh, system parameter C language. When D, then uh, the, the my LV language variable is DE, when E it's EN. And so if we run the program, we see the result. So it's quite different. We save a couple of letters. Then the last example is a pretty short one. If we have a Boolean operator, Boolean variable, then we can check this variable and we can set another strings because of the inline declaration here we have to explicit set the type string here then we check if the LV flag it is up up true then we return the value the string true else false and now let's check it yes it worked true or false so pretty short Yes, the examples clearly show that you can gain an overview and save a few lines of code. In my opinion, the savings are not at the expense of readability and comprehension. Yes, at the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.